Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about sex, baby. Today is World Contraception Day, and this MTV VJ hopes that more youths will talk about that very topic so that they can be armed with the right information about sex and contraception. Denise Keller is the newly appointed member of the Youth Task Force that aims to raise awareness of sexual issues. An initiative that comes at a time when more youths are getting sexually active at an earlier age. In a poll of 200 youths aged 16 to 19 here, done for the World Contraception Day, attitudes of young people here towards contraception seem to be an issue. 37% of those surveyed say they would not use contraception because their partner preferred not to, while 27% say they do not like using contraception. Um, this shows very different about the sources, about the young people, what they trust and feel comfortable to. They're talking about partners, but I think the correlation is is that if you've got close to half the partners who won't negotiate sex, about contraception and sex, yet they trust them to talk about it, but then they don't actually do anything about it, there's something a bit wrong there. In countries like Singapore, people are talking to their partners about sex before they have it. But they're not talking about contraception. So are they talking about positions or where they're going to do it? Are they going to go camping? Are they going to do it at the supper club? But they're obviously not talking about contraception. So if they've got the guts to be able to, if they've got the attitude to be talking about sex, the question is how can we empower them or give them the information so they can actually talk about contraception into that process? The survey commemorates World Contraception Day and one of the more surprising findings of the poll is that 39% of teens here say the withdrawal method was more effective at preventing unplanned pregnancies than the morning after pill. At you, but I, I sort of know that withdrawing your penis before ejaculation doesn't work. Um, and let's face it, I'm looking at a, a room of people, I'll tell you, most men are very good at it tell you that right now it's a real real issue yeah and if any man tells you that they can do it really well they're lying but for me in Singapore what's really scary is that they actually believe through our respondents and through our surveys that it is more effective than the morning after pill well I hate to tell you folks the morning morning after pill is 99.7 effective Withdrawal, it depends on your trust on the guy, and really, it doesn't work. So I'd go morning after pill every single time. And this is something I think we really need to work on. I think it's not really a method. The other one is having sex during your menstrual cycle. That's another very, very good method that doesn't work. I'm telling you right now, folks. But my favourite, I have to say, and the, the one that really, really, I've never seen before, and I've been working in sex for almost 20 years, folks. The one that I've never seen before is the Coca-Cola juice. We used to use science experiments where we put coins into jars of Coca-Cola to clean the coins. Ladies and gentlemen, I would never stick my penis into a, can into a jar of Coca-Cola. So I can't understand why people think this is a family planning method. Condoms remain the contraception of choice for young people as 67% rank it as their preferred choice. While youths were able to decide on which contraceptives they prefer to use in the survey, about 58% of them still feel they are unfamiliar or have misconceptions of contraceptives. So that means they would need someone to talk to or seek advice from. And unfortunately, while youths feel they can trust authority figures like parents, doctors and teachers, they feel more comfortable talking to their partners or friends about sex. I think the moment they are beginning to mature and uh, the possibility of getting pregnant is high, probably from age 11 uh, onwards, for, especially for girls probably we have to, they need to be educated a little younger. I am also of the view that parents need to be informed so that they feel they can be trained to feel comfortable about talking about sex with their children, especially mothers to their daughters and fathers to their sons. Uh, so if, if they can receive this early, early from the, their, their parents, then um, they will feel that 
if they are more open and comfortable to speak to their parents later on in life as, as well. And that is exactly what the Youth Task Force ambassadors like Denise Keller hope to do, to get youths talking about it with more trusted sources so they are armed with the knowledge to prevent unplanned pregnancies and sexually transmitted infections and diseases. To find out more about what the MTV VJ has to say about youth and sex, stay tuned to Raise the TV. 